Hi everyone, welcome to Straight from the Divine Tarot. We are Friday, June 21st, 2024. I'm here to do a collective read for you guys. As you know, I don't use the signs, I don't use the genders, and it's a timeless read. So if this is your reading, you will know from the description of the characters as well as the storyline. So take what applies and toss the rest. Don't try to make things fit if it does not. I will be using the he and she pronoun just to keep it straight in my head, no other reason. So if you have to switch the roles and or the genders throughout the read, go right ahead. That is not a problem. Just remember, it's a general collective reading. Not every read is going to be for you. And even if it is for you, chances are not all of it will be. Okay, so certain parts may not be for you. So don't try to fit it into your storyline. It is not advisable. I will be bringing out the tarot cards. I'll give you the the description of the cards as well as what I'm picking up intuitively, you know your story best. It could be all the descriptions, some, one, and or none, as I said. And then we bring it together at the end. If you haven't done so already, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload. I wasn't going to upload today. I was going to take it well, yesterday and today off just because the energies, but uh, Spirit said, yeah, sure, let's do it. So let's see what comes up today. But if you have done so already, thank you so very much. I'm truly grateful. I love you guys. Hope you're going to have a great weekend. Happy summer solstice. Happy first day of summer. It's finally here. <laughs> Actually, I, I say finally. I mean, like just a few months ago, I was like, when's summer coming? It's so cold. But now that it's here, I'm looking back at how quickly time flies. And that's some a part of the download I was getting earlier about time. I mean, it's linear. Time doesn't really exist in, when we think about things. But um, if you knew you had just a short amount of time, a year left to live, what would you do differently? You know what I'm saying? Would you want to keep doing what you're doing? Or would you want to live? I mean, truly, truly live. Experience the world. Do things that you always wanted to do and just kept putting off. And... If that's, you know, if you would do something differently, then I want you to think, what's keeping you from doing that already? Because we don't know how long we have in this world, okay? I mean, you could be getting up there in age, you could be 20. Um, you could leave at any time. What, what are you waiting for? You know what I'm saying? Live. We're meant to live. We're not meant to be slaves. We're not meant to sit and wait for somebody to love us. We're not meant to do any of that stuff. We're meant to live and experience life to the fu at, at its fullest in whatever, in whatever way we can. You know, we, we get the, the naysayers going, well, yeah, well, I don't have the money to do what I really want. But you know what? When there's a will, there's a way. Make it happen. There's so many people out there in the world that are making it happen. We have no excuses. Okay? If it's meant to be, it will be. So that's the message. If you only, if you knew, I mean, life i mean when you you look at you ask anybody that's 99 years old turning 100 and you'll say you know what have you learned about life i bet you a lot of them will say how quickly it goes by and how the worst thing you could ever ever have is regrets i'd rather do something and fail at it than never do it because i'm scared and have regrets you know what i'm saying anyways that's the message let's see what spirit wants to talk about Spirit, ooh, that was quick. Swan Queen, transformation, intuition, and patience. 13, change. Something's ending and or something new is beginning, right? Congratulations. 13 is either you're the phoenix rising and or it's the death card, meaning something is ending. Transformation, change. Maybe you're learning to use your intuition more. You have to have patience with intuition, okay? Because it's, it's not overnight that you, you get to work it. Um, especially if when you're first starting out, you have to use it like a muscle. You need to exercise it and strengthen it. Um, at first, your doubt's going to get in the way, and that's why you're going to have more hit, uh, more misses than hits. But as you slowly start to use it more and more, you're going to see, oh, it's that it's that easy. Okay, <laughs> that's the overarching energy. Bottom of the deck is the wise woman of Wonderland. Integrity compromise 21 something's ending here so change okay endings that's the world maybe you're moving maybe you're traveling something online maybe i don't know any some cycles to begin new ones it's in keeping right 
Um, keep your integrity. Always do things with integrity. And nobody can fault you, okay? Um, maybe you need to compromise. Okay, well, I can't be a multi-billionaire, but maybe I could do, you know, whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, we have to be realistic as well, okay? Everybody has dreams and stuff, but if you're dreaming to live in a castle somewhere, in a 50-room castle, maybe you're going to have to compromise. Say, okay, I'll take a four-bedroom uh, four home. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just giving you examples. Lady, lady of lightning surprise is sometimes shocked total paradigm shift so something's shifting this is like the tower okay integrity eight 35 is eight right um something's gonna happen quickly to redirect you where you need to be that is what i am picking up and that could be a good surprise it could be a bad one but strength and courage here okay resilience act with integrity loyalty and honesty you might be scared. I mean, it could be in the reverse. It's scary starting something new. But feel the fear, but do it anyways, okay? Ice Queen, ideas preserved, non-action entitlement. This is destiny. It's 10. It's a will of fortune. It's change. Divine timing here. Using your higher wisdom. I don't know. Maybe you've been waiting for something that's never going to happen. Maybe you have to have radical acceptance and accept that certain things that you wanted isn't for you. Something better is for you, okay? You're preserving an idea or maybe a way of things, a way of thinking, a way of life. Maybe it's not working out for you. And you haven't taken any action. Maybe somebody feels entitled, or you do. Take it for whatever it is, okay? But it's going to, whatever this is, it's going to redirect you where you need to be. Happier life. Shadow queen. Acquiring knowledge, not in, uh, insecurity, manipulation. So somebody's manipulating you or the situation. Again, it's a tower. What I tell you? Something happened or is going to happen that's going to be quick and swift. Going within, it's going to allow you to go within and do this soul work, okay? The shadow work. Acquiring knowledge. We have to acquire knowledge in order to grow and, and evolve, right? Yeah, maybe you have to face your insecurities. You'll be fine. I just heard that loud and clear. Yes, yeah, hungry ghost, obsessions, scarcity, consciousness, attachment, 14. So you got to balance this out. Balance your life. I used to be afraid to do things on my own too, to be alone until I had to. I had to face it. I had to face my fears and, and provide for myself. You know what I mean? Um, I've lost almost everything a couple of times now. I had to start over and it's scary. And I always, in the past, I had certain family members. I had certain people in my life to help. And I, I found that the last time I had no one. Okay? So I had to rely on my trust, on my faith, my intuition, my connection with God. So if you find that you're, you, you have some sort of attachments, you know what I mean? Let it go. Find out who you truly are. Balance out your own life. You can heal. you got to start healing from these insecurities. Maybe you grew up at poor. Maybe you're afraid of, you know, poverty or homelessness or something like that. You let go of those fears because the more you fear, the more you're bringing that into your world. You're manifesting it. Okay? Maybe you're a hoarder. Not sh I'm not throwing any shade. You know, saving things for a rainy day instead of using it today because we don't know if we're going to leave tomorrow or in 50 years. Stop saving things for a rainy day live in the moment stop living in the past because that's going to give you depression okay stop living in the future because that's going to give you anxiety take back your power please okay yeah we wise ones turn to the angels they're going to help you angelic help miraculous aid moving forward 34 is seven chariot whatever is happening here in your world it might be bad right now and i'm not minimizing your pain your fear nothing your loss it's meant to redirect you, though, to a better life, a happier life, a healthier one. Universally driven. You're going towards victory here. you got to leave some things behind. People, things, ideas, situations. Okay, you got to bring back, back, uh, bring back balance to your world. And take accountability where you need to. We all are accountable for certain things in our lives. Okay? I'm not blaming you. Don't take on the blame, the shame, and the, and the pain. But take accountability for the role you played in it like for me i brought certain people into my world that just weren't good for me okay i put myself last i overgave blah 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 okay but this is radical acceptance as well something came to a stop 
you know, maybe it's a, a job, maybe it's a, a relationship, whatever it is, it hurts. But I, please believe me when I say, you will be fine. You will heal. That's if you're willing to heal. Some people aren't willing to heal. They don't want to let go of the pain for some reason. I don't know. Okay. Swan Queen 13. Oopsie. Same shit, different day. See? If you knew you only had a short period of time to live, would you do the same shit every day or would you live? An offer. Maybe you want to make an offer. Maybe someone's going to make you an offer. Maybe you're reconsidering an offer. Maybe just go out for coffee with somebody just to meet somebody new. Get a different, fresh perspective on life, okay? Somebody has a bad rep reputation or maybe you have one, okay? But that doesn't mean that's the end of the world. You can always change. And this is about transformation. Not all is lost. And if people want to keep looking down their noses at you and you're willing to change your life and you have changed your life, then those people don't belong in your life. Oh, well, you're going to find the people who do. Divination abuser. Take it for whatever this is. Maybe you, somebody you're dealing with. I mean, even if you're watching one tarot reading after another every day, you're abusing divination and you're just confusing yourself. And I'm not putting you down. Or somebody could be out there doing readings on people that without their permission and they, they're getting some karma for it. So whatever it is, just or you're paying people to do um, readings on people without their permission and you're comp compromising. We saw compromise earlier right here. Um, readers. Okay. Maybe young readers that, you know, don't know better. Always protect yourself, readers, if you're a reader out there. So it could, could be some legal issues here. Court judges, immigration, lawyers, giving money, whether you're going to get money or you have to pay. Okay? My suggestion, and I'm not minimizing your pain, it'll go smoother, quicker. Rip that Band-Aid off. If you owe money, pay it. Make whatever arrangements you can. Okay? Yeah, moving. Maybe you can't afford. Maybe you have to go to court. Maybe you're being... You're, you're in, you know, delinquent in payments. Maybe you got to move. You got to downsize. That's fine. Okay? It's just temporary. It's a change until you get back on your feet. Do what you need to do. Okay? Been there, done that. Okay? Maybe you have gone through this before and you were haunted by it. Okay? It is traumatic. Okay? You were dealing with a happiness hater. Somebody that was always hustling, always wanting money making it rain focused on it right i want you to be too busy winning that you don't worry about money anymore paying your bills you make your bills you live within your means okay looking you up researching you studying you getting info somebody married you for money or you were looking for somebody to marry for money you did maybe somebody accused you of it Maybe someone gave you a bad reputation. It was bullshit. Take it for whatever it is, okay? Somebody's into you, and maybe somebody lied about you. I was picking that up, too. Good chemistry, great vibes, and positive. So somebody's fishing for comments, maybe checking you out with people that know you or know of you. What do you think of this person? Listen, if you're in interested in somebody, whether it's for work, love, friendship, don't go by other people's say-so. Find out for yourself, okay? Make your own distinctions. Make your own... Yes, they get a, dealing with a thief, oh, thief of joy, I just heard, or they accuse you of being a thief, rob, lost, that physical or emotional, maybe that's why somebody has to go to court, girl fight, argument, physical fight, out war and competing, somebody wants you back, so somebody, it has something to do with somebody wanting you back, and they're trying to block you, so they made up all kinds of lies about you, you're a thief, you're always fighting, you're rough around the edges, you're marrying, always looking for people to marry for money or hook up for money. You know what I mean? Hustling people all the time. You're a happiness hater. Always moving around. You can't stay put. You're always losing money. Always homeless. You know, always wanting money. Maybe they, maybe you're going to have to take them to, to court. I don't know. Trying to give you a bad reputation. It could be defamation. Okay. Sorry, the energies are really wonky. That's why I stayed away yesterday. And I thought I'd stay away today. But we'll see if we can get through this. Of course, you know why. People like to play an energy, right? Swan, 
Queen number 13. How can I forget that? Same shit, different day. So somebody wants to take you out and or some maybe do, using divination against you. Maybe they're doing more than that. Trying to take you out. Trying to take everything away from you in your life. It sounds like somebody's very jealous of you. They want to compete with you. Tell them to stay in their lane. You're too busy waiting. Don't even pay attention to it. You're just going to feed, feed their, feed their ego. Okay. Swan, queen, same shit, different day. Maybe it's not the first time a bunch of people have lied about you. They carry a lot of light and you offend their demons. Robbery, planning to rob you. Exploitation, exploit you. Something is very unfair. They thought you were blind to this, but you're not. Awkward, unknown, vision problems. Nine. It's an investigation. Somebody doesn't know. They're being investigated. Or they made up all these lies about you to have you investigated. They could have accused you of robbing them or something like that. Maybe they tried to get you involved in the justice system. Take it for whatever it is. It could be work, your profession, expertise, talented. Somebody could be a chef. You're multifaceted. You've got a lot of talent and they're jealous. Yeah, this is um, Somebody's being played like a, a marionette. It's a puppet master here. 15, devil energy. They, they, they're they trying to tie themselves to you or tie you to things. Dictatorship, domination, reluctance. Live and learn. Maybe you're a teacher. Maybe you learned your lessons. You've elevated. You've gone with it and do, did that soul work. Experience, training, and development. Hmm. It's all part of learning down here anyways, right? We're here to learn. It could be a student. Maybe it's... Something to, do, something to do with a gift, souvenir, promotion, delight. You're very gifted. Somebody's maybe you're finding out you're very gifted. Okay. Again, going within, it's a nine. Somebody's lot losing you. Their bereavement, sorrow, damage. Okay, so through through your loss, you've you went within and you discovered you have some talent, some skills, some gifts. We all do. Okay, somebody has to pay for the damage they've done. 13, something's ended. You could be bereaving, you know, you could be grieving a loss of somebody. And that does, I hate to say it, but it does tend to, those low lows make us go within and um, connect with who we truly are. And we that's how we elevate this change, though. Somebody's in a nightmare. They're scared, they're suffering. Persecution. They try to persecute you. Okay? I'm sorry you're going through that or take it for whatever it is. Okay? Somebody's a happiness hater and they got to stay in their lane. Let's get one of these and then I'll start the tarot cards. Swan Queen, 13. Same shit, different day. Robbery, 59. That's 14. They got to balance something out. You could be an earth angel. The angel is protecting you. So secrets. I haven't told you everything. Wow. So somebody's not telling you something. They're talking. Uh, it looks like they're delighting in this gossip. So if you're dealing with people that gossip, stay away from them. Okay? Because if they're talking to you about other people, they are talking about to other people about you. Okay? So overwhelmed. The stress from this is draining me. So somebody's really stressed. They got to tell you something. Missed opportunity. I didn't act when I should have. Space. I need more time to think. Regret. I wish this never happened. So somebody's in regret. You, them. Unexpected outcome. I'm telling you, there's going to be a shock here. Things didn't go the way I planned. They were planning to do this to you. And it's going left. It's going sideways. Okay. It goes to show you, you're being protected here by the angels. Don't forget to thank the angels, by the way. We thank God, I hope. We thank God every day we're supposed to. But um, always lead with gratitude as well. But the angels do so much that we're not even aware of. There's so many of them. <laughs> Legions. <laughs> it's hard to know which one's which, right? So Swan Queen, 13. You are the Phoenix Rising. Same shit, different day, robbery. And secrets. 
you're planning a, a robbery. You think you don't know? Oh yeah, you know. <laughs> I just heard that. You damn well know. Okay. You don't know how much you know though. That's what it is. The higher they are, the bigger they fall. That's what I just heard, okay? That's a message, please, Spirit. Help me understand where we're going with this reading, please, and thank you. Well, I'm just going to take what I want. No, you're not. Even if they did succeed in taking something that wasn't theirs, don't worry, okay? <laughs> this is the season. Ooh, a lot of lies and secrets, but I, I, I was picking it up. You are very aware, aware of what they're doing or what they've planned or what they've done. You have higher wisdom here. You're highly intuitive, male or female. You don't say much, you observe, and you wait. You have the keys here. You are the key. You have the light. You carry the light. You're balanced between your dark and light, masculine and feminine. It's a deep knowing. And they're keeping stuff from you. They're grieving and regretting, overarching energy. This is the before tarot deck, by the way. I'm going to use the regular tarot deck afterwards, and then hopefully I can get three today. Um, and then I'll use the after tarot, just for flavor. So somebody's realizing that these connections they had, there's there, there was no substance to them. They're grieving what they've lost, what they could have had. It was all illusion, that's what I'm picking up, because there's nothing in these cups, nothing viable. They could be far from home or exiled, kicked out hmm that good they're looking at their last cup maybe this was the last person they could could rely on you or them and they're looking back going shit I ruined that that connection too you know what I'm saying what am I gonna do so they're feeling sorry for themselves four of cups it could be a drinker it doesn't have to be they Possibly had a lot of options here. It was all illusion, though. They thought they were God's gift. I just heard, whoa. Now, they're sitting underneath this tree. And if you notice, it's not a very big tree. It's not enough to cover. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> they're doing things in the shadows, but they were seeing because this tree's not big enough to cover them. Give them enough shade, you know? Somebody's feeling sorry for themselves. They're feeling regretful. People are ignoring them, possibly. I'm picking up. It could be somebody that... Oh, God. It could be a player. If it is a player, this is a person that thinks that everybody they're dealing with is their soulmate, their twin flame, their kingdom spouse. Let me partake of yours. No, no, no. Let me partake of yours. So people are ignoring them. <laughs> they don't know what they want. Two of swords in the upright. Right? Or they're pretending they didn't know. Like, I'm just going to blind myself and pretend I don't know what's going on. I'm in denial. They're paranoid, I think. They don't want to see what's going to happen. Or they didn't see what's going to happen. Mental conflict. Stalemates. They're not like a victim. Unrequited love. No going back to the past. I don't know. Giving out false information about you. That's what it is. They're in denial. They're going to act like a victim when they're caught. Uh, they're regretting or they're grieving and regretting. Why'd I do that? Why'd I do that? Well, because, okay? Yeah, the truth is out. They're trying to block the truth and they can't. They don't see this happening. They got to own up to their own. They got to own up, okay? They got to face their fears because there's conscious awareness. You're going to be taking action. Someone is. You're co creating with the divine as above, so below. You're manifesting something new. And I think your manifestations, they could have been trying to block them. No, they can't block your manifestations. Okay. You're very um, creative. You're very uh, resourceful. Focused on what you need to do here or what you, what's going on. I don't know. You have a direct connection with Source. So, of course, you knew what was going on. Or you, yeah, you felt it. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be taking some sort of action here. You know that somebody lied about you, definitely. Out of jealousy, uh, they wanted revenge, you know what I mean? Somebody's angry. You you could be good and angry. They know you're going to be angry. The truth is out, they know you're going to be angry. 
You have every right to be. Because the Queen of Swords, male or female, in the reverse kind of gets a bad rap all the time. But, I mean, we all get angry and we, we're allowed to. But it could be out of jealousy, out of vengeance, whatever this is. They're being investigated. They had you investigated off of lies. Okay? Maybe you could be online as well. You're stable and secure. You could be working online. You don't have to be. You're free, maybe. Okay? You're single, abundant, independent, self-sufficient, stable, and secure. Hmm. They could have called you a whore and you're celibate. Take it for whatever it is, male or female. Uh, you get your direct, your downloads direct from source here. You're minding your own business in your garden, tending to your garden. You're very ver verdant. You're very, um, you can be a business owner as well. Trying to hurt your business maybe. Because this is an entre entrepreneur, yeah, your business. You work for yourself. Or maybe you're about to. Or you're going online, maybe you're thinking about it. Take it for whatever it is. This is success. You put a lot of work in. You put a lot of effort into yourself. This is self-mastery as well. Maybe you, I did pick up a student earlier. Maybe you're just finishing school and you're going off to work now. You're you're hanging up your credentials, your your certificates, your your PhD, whatever, masters. Okay. You don't need anybody in your life. If they're in your life, it's because you want them there. Now they're they're burdened by something. It could be somebody you're working with. It doesn't have to be. Maybe you're worried about, you know, going off on your own, working on your own. Can I do this? Can I not? Yeah, this is something you, you love doing what you do. Okay? This is emotional fulfillment and happiness. Somebody's in their feelings or something. This could be new love, true love. This could be self-love. Right? It's a gift from the divine. This is emotional fulfillment, emotional support. And they were, yeah, somebody's emotional here. You parted ways with somebody that you loved or something like that, or they had a... Not happy. They were spreading gossip about you, okay? Wow. That, it could be friends that you left behind, family, could be an ex. So we had an, a third party. Yeah, you saw through the illusions and broke free, or somebody else's. Uh, this was all illusions, running out of options, don't have a choice. Maybe this is you. Maybe you were a player in the back in, in the in the past, superficial, blah blah blah. But now you're putting the work into yourself because you've had a a shocking experience here. Maybe you did do a robbery and you had to spend some time in jail and you got to to know yourself. You know what I mean? You went within. You want to change your world. Take it for whatever it is. This could apply different ways. You found some self love here. Maybe you had third parties all the time, superficial connections. And now you're ready to give it all up because it's not viable. There's nothing in these cups. You're no longer confused as to what you want. You want balance. You want stability. Okay? I don't blame you. Or somebody you were dealing with is giving and receiving with everybody else and prioritizing everyone else. They're going to have to pay out some money. They, this is a player energy. Could have been a player injury. Take some action to end this. Take it for whatever it is. Okay? Somebody's ending a bad player, their player ways, maybe their criminal ways. You were done wrong by, you're good on your own here, but they were spreading gossip about you out of jealousy, obviously, okay? And you might have to take them to court. For some reason, they were trying to set you up for something because somebody wants to come back. They got to balance out their lives if they're going to come back to you. Or they're going to have to settle with you. They're going to have to take this loss. Yeah, they broke the law. There's a divorce, separation or something, right? Yeah. It's going to cost them. They wanted to cause you some sort of problem, maybe set you up for a crime. You could be in debt too. Take it for whatever it is, okay? Loss in court. Maybe you lost some money in a divorce, whatever this is, okay? In debt, unstable, blocked money. Somebody's money's going to be frozen. Don't know what to do. They're being investigated. This sounds like a theft. Yeah. Divine timing here, okay? Um... Somebody's starting an investigation. He's, the hermit's just plucked the star out of the sky. And he's about to put it in this lantern to light this shit up. You know what I'm saying? Finding out there's a snake right next to him. Or her. Okay? You got him within. You know. You know you got to go within and do this soul work. Okay? So there's a sudden departure or arrival. Maybe the cops are coming in. You're, somebody's finances have been frozen. They can't move on. No contingency contingency plans 
Okay? I mean, what are you supposed to do if your money's been frozen? For some reason. Yeah, lots of lies and secrets. There's no communication here. Have to go get some counsel to find out what's going on. Somebody's greedy and selfish, okay? Wow. Something to do with children. Giving out false information. Maybe you were accused of something to do with children. Contributing to the delinquency of minors. Drinking. Wish fulfillment. You're not going back to the past. It's over with. It could be a loss of a child. Unrequited love. It's over. It could be family wanting to take you out. It could be anything. I'm so sorry. It's it's hard to pinpoint exactly what it is. There's a lot of energies here. There's a lot of you here, okay? They're going through different things, but we can relate to a lot of it, okay? Maybe they're telling you to... Maybe there's a gag order on this. Letting go, giving up. Uh, they can't block this not any longer. 9-9, nine, nine, by the way. Somebody's angry. Taking some action here. Maybe they had some dealings with children and passions, if you know what I'm saying. This wand's on fire. Somebody's a fool. Or they accused you, I don't know, of having children. I don't even, I don't want to say it. Somebody's innocent. Somebody's got to take some action here. They're spreading vicious lies about you. Um, taking, you have a new beginning in your life and they're trying to ruin it. You have new passions, a new passion opportunity, new beginnings, growth and expansion. Somebody with authority is going to be taking some action here. Yeah. There's proof here. They're going to come towards you with some proof, tell you what's going on. Your family's behind it. It has something to do with a large amount of money. Maybe they're hoping to lock you up and you, they can get their hands on this money. This is your family. Or it's a corporation that's doing this to you. I don't know. But you're going to, you stand to, this is 17 pentacles, new beginnings that's coming towards you. Maybe it's a lawsuit. Maybe, I don't know what this is. You're innocent yet again. Hmm. Minding your own business in your garden here. Ooh, so this could be your family members or somebody from your past that's coming towards you to give you this info, this proof, and or this is your family or somebody from your past. When you go and question them or the police go question them, they're in their garden going, I don't know what's going on. They're pretending like they didn't do anything. Like, oh, we're innocent. Somebody wants to come and reconcile with you because this is a, a huge loss for whoever this is. Okay? They kept doing something over and over again. And they're going to have a big loss here. And they didn't want to change. And somebody that doesn't want your life to change. Maybe you were living hand to mouth, you know, paycheck to paycheck. And now you're coming into something better. You're working for yourself. You found your groove. And they don't like it. I dare you. And they can't come with you because obviously <laughs> they're not your people. And they know it. So they're trying to, you know, throw a monkey wrench into your plans, into your... Yeah, it's over. They could have been planning this. Okay? This could be an inheritance. <sighs> Ooh, an overdose I just heard. They were planning this. Somebody's, this is a contract, okay? To do you in or something. Or they, they accused you of it. Somebody's responsible to try, maybe it could be something to do with drugs or something, okay? Yeah, this is corruption, abuse of power, abuse of authority. Somebody at Hub High is involved in, in the courts as well. Whoever had this money or something like this, or your family, crooked judge or, or, or lawyer, if this is the inheritance that we've been picking up lately. They gave their power away, okay? They want a power and dominance over you, over this money. They wanted to control it, control you. You're getting your justice. Congratulations. They have to call a truce here because... They know what they stand to lose. I think in institutions involved, it could be banks, it could be brokerages, realtors, it could be the judicial system. Um, they are going to lose a lot of money because they facilitated this fucking crusade against you. So they're going to call truce. Awareness. They know you know. They know you have the, the deets on it. So somebody from this, whoever this is, it's a past life soulmate. You might not even know this person yet. They're coming towards you with, or they already have came towards you with the proof. 
that you need. There's no saving grace here, okay? There's no second chances. Hmm. This is awareness. They have to take accountability. This is the justice system that's crooked. Something went wrong. Somebody got their palms greased and they're tied to it. They can't. I picked up this judge, this crooked judge or something, or crooked leader of some sort, manager, CEO. They're chained to this uh, corruption through a society they're a part of, whether it's a secret society, a group, a coven, a cult, just a friend group. I'm not putting down these societies, these groups, these organizations, okay? You have your bad apples everywhere, so... You know, I'm tired of people thinking I'm I'm saying one thing and I'm not, okay? But there's judgment here. Somebody's made a decision. This was all out. They were maybe doing black magic. They could have called you a whore, male or female, but this is definitely jealousy. This is hate, spite, wanting power, possessiveness. Yeah, you know, worship me, pay me, right? Greedy, selfish. Wanting power and control. They're jealous that you're able to, to maybe provide for yourself, that you're stable and secure. They want to be worshipped, whoever this is. Obviously, they're, they worship the devil. There you go. It's right on top of the devil. Doing black magic on you. Or they could accuse you of that, okay? This is a false contract, false people, karmics. You parted ways with them in the past. They're getting their comeuppance here. There's consequences for what their decisions here. They're scared. They have no integrity, loyalty, or honesty. They try to compromise you. Or they compromised a lot of other people. They got in trouble. Okay. They can't control this. It's out of control. All because you hurt their their ego or their pride or something like that. Yeah, they're very greedy and selfish, superficial. Male or female, okay? Fit yourself where you, you, you play, where you fit here, okay? These players, the genders, it doesn't matter, okay? So somebody's in their emotions, maybe they're not happy. Maybe you're sad. You have every right to be. Oh, yeah, they've been exposed. Wow. This is superficial, shallow, selfish. Uh, they blackmail emotionally. Um, they're emotionally defunct. <laughs> they use emotions to get their way. They could be crying right now. Crying the blues. Oh, poor woe is me, but they got themselves in this situation. Um, they don't care who they hurt. Very, very karmic people here, okay? Superficial. Truth and clarity. They're being exposed. This is illumination, okay? You're happy, healthy, wealthy, and wise. You're on the right side of the tracks, if you know what I'm saying, okay? The divine is shining a light on it. You're going to be extremely happy here. This is wish fulfillment, okay? This is it's your family. Shining a light on this family or this group. That reminds me of today. I was outside today, and it was... It was gorgeous. The sun was shining. It was bright. But we had sun showers. It was raining. It was coming down pretty hard, too. So that, that might be happening today. I think the divine wants to shower you in blessings now. They have to, they're all on the run. They have to, they're running to get out of this, out of the rain here. Yeah, you have no worries. No more worries. No more. You're not taking on this family or this group's um, burdens. Maybe you did in the past, and that's what slowed you down in this world. They took from you, took from you, and left you nothing. You know, and you had to start over and over again because of these people. Take it for whatever it is. 10-10, it's completion. Congratulations. So you're not taking on their, their burdens. You made a conscious decision to put it down and end the cycle. You want your happiness here. Your peace, your happiness. You want your wish fulfillment. I don't blame you. And now they're paralyzed in fear. They're worried. They're burdened. They can't eat or sleep. Okay? Because they know you're not going to help them anymore. This is financial ruin, spiritual jail. They could have tried to ruin you. They're worried because you got yourself out of poverty maybe. No, they kept doing something over and over again. They, they didn't want to learn a lesson. They don't want this to end here. They don't, oh, somebody's worried because they got blood on these swords, okay? There could be nine people or nine different organizations. Um, nine times they tried to sink this sword in your back. They got blood on their hands for sure. Um, maybe they did unalive spells. Who knows, okay? Uh, nine people have gone down, maybe. But um, this is ruin. Where was I going with this? I can't remember. Anyway, we have, um, they try to ruin you, but they ruin themselves. They're heartbroken. 
Oh, well, they're going to jail. They're bound to the devil. They're going to jail. Too many obstacles to overcome. They tried to bind you, maybe. That's eight. That's 11 swords right there. That's justice. 11 is justice. See any? Wow. Stole home, property. Your mail, I heard. Party's over. Instability. They could be homeless as well. They try to make you homeless. There's going to be some communication here, okay? This is the end of a family or a group, or this is no redemption as well. You, Somebody's helping you, maybe, collaborating. This is a contract. Oh, yeah, they lied. They lied. This is a lot of abuse. They, somebody found out about their plans, okay? Writing's on the wall. They have to cooperate with you because... Somebody lied in this equation. A lot of people lied. They were. It was very abusive. Lots of narcissists. It could be a narcissistic family. Yeah, they bore false witness. They perjured themselves. They didn't give you your money. You're in debt or tried to put you in debt. Um, maybe you lost a child, whether through you know social services or whatever, and or whatever this is. They whatever they tried to do, it didn't work. They're in debt. They owe. They're gonna wind up owing you a lot of money. No new beginnings. They tried to stop your new beginnings. They didn't do their homework. Oh, this yeah, these institutions didn't do their homework. They didn't follow up with you. Oh, boy. Yep. Didn't get your money. Somebody intercepted your money. Your mail. Didn't want to take accountability, so they just let it go. Oh, they'll forget about it. They'll get up. No, they're not going to get over it. These people can't be trusted. They don't want to take accountability. Yep. Something to do with that, oh, boy. If this is the inheritance... They reconstituted a fucking already written will, which is illegal, and left you out of it. Or somebody lost a fucking kid. Or somebody's very immature and insincere. They're not sorry. They didn't want you having new beginnings. They figured if you, they don't have money, they can't have any beginning. They're having an emotional outburst. They're immature, insincere. They're sick. Maybe they accused you of being sick. This is a scandal. They're scared. They tried to scare you. This was a crime. They abused you. They brought others into danger. So if they were doing magic, a lot of people could have could be leaving. This is reckless, okay? Or they're scared because they knew about it. And this was passive aggressiveness, okay? They didn't do anything about it. They didn't do their fiduciary duties or whatever they swore allegiance to, okay? They wanted you gone. They didn't want you happy. They didn't want you having what, what was rightfully yours. They wanted to ruin you. And then these people went along with it. Unbelievable. Well, if we can't get them this way, we'll get them that way. Yeah, they're going to be arrested here. There's illumination. You surrender to this to God. You're not wasting any more time with these people. And now they're acting like martyrs because they've been, it's been illuminated. Everybody knows the truth. They kept doing something. They have to return to court or return something property, money, whatever. They didn't want to learn a lesson. It's caught up with them, okay? They want to come back to you. But they're... Somebody in the equation cares about you. They want to return to you. But they fucked you over. Maybe that's what I saw in the beginning. How are they going to get back to you? How are they going to get back to you after everything they've done and said? Will they change? I don't know. They want to prove to you they changed, or is that just surface? Take it for whatever it is, just to get back into your good graces, okay? Yeah. They're emotional right now. They could be drinking. This is malicious, ruthless, dangerous even, okay? They're em emotionally manipulative, emotionally unavailable and immature, very self-serving, vainglorious, cruel. Yeah, you parted ways with them. You don't trust them. So if the, if you're questioning, male or female, if you're questioning whether you should trust them, that should give you an indication here. They're karmic. They have no future. They can't come with you. Their plans have fallen through. They can't move forward. Their ships aren't coming in. They weren't expecting this. Oh, well. Maybe people in their circle is leaving them now. They're getting they're left holding the bag because this was corruption, abuse of power, abuse of authority. Somebody was a bully. They're greedy, materialistic, and they're jealous of you. And they're lazy. They're unstable. They wanted you unstable or to appear this way. 
Didn't want you moving on in life. Didn't want you going anyplace. You stay underneath my fucking thumb. Yeah. They did something. Okay. They were planning some sort of physical, you know what I mean, against you. They pitted you against others. They made you a scapegoat. They knew what they were doing was wrong, but they did it anyway. They knew it would turn out very, very nasty, potentially for you or for them. They didn't care. They did it. Okay. Now, this is ending a cycle here. Ending this person's cycle of stability, of walking around like a rich bitch or a rich guy. Now they want forgiveness. Could be a near death. Okay. If they don't pay up, they could be dealing with, you know, like the, the underbelly of society or with these witches and warlocks or something. And if they don't pay up, maybe they're getting blackmailed. They're gone. Yeah. They want want to reconcile with you or they need to heal or they, they need to go to healing. Maybe they got injured and now they have to heal. They did something too quickly. This is, you know what I mean? Knee-jerk reactions, got themselves in trouble. Okay? Maybe they were planning to do this to you. You're an earth angel. The angels prevented whatever they were planning to do against you. Okay? You were divinely protected and guided. Yeah, they were planning an attack. Whether it's spiritual or physical, I don't know. But I think they got it and they have to heal from this attack. They're feeling... Um, overwhelmed and defeated they made accusations about you that were unfounded playing mind games gaslighting they're all fighting figure pointing and blaming one another now okay they wanted you to fight and compete nah okay you took the high road you walked away okay now they're getting the karma for whatever they did they can't block it out there's no chaos where you are the chaos is where they are okay this is somebody that bit off bit off more than they can chew it was all ego and, and arrogance um it's a poser a player they had no authority to do what they did or they, they're getting their authority taken away by the divine here it's not a leader it's a follower okay it's a coward this could be the law coming okay this could be archangel michael i just heard underneath the canopy of the universe this is you moving on you overcame everything they have to bring back balance to a situation it's radical acceptance you got to take it on the chin there okay whoever this is you're a coward you didn't do the right things. You had no no honor, okay? No morals, no ethics. Somebody's going down. Popo's getting ready to come and get them. You know what I'm saying? You overcame. This is victory. You're moving on. Truth and clarity. This is Archangel Michael's sword, like I said. They wanted you to fuck around with your crown chakra. They wanted to be crowned as something. Oh, hail me as big whatever, you know? Bow down to me. You're nothing, Okay? They thought nobody would know the truth, that this truth was buried in the stone. Nobody can take this sword out of the stone. Except for them? No, I don't think so. Archangel Michael took the truth out of the stone. This is new beginnings. This is truth and clarity, a breakthrough. They got caught. They have to come clean. Somebody's got to have a conversation with you. They wanted you unstable. Whatever they did was unfair. Somebody's in debt to the devil and to others. They're boring for Peter to pay Paul. They can't play games anymore. They thought this was going to be a um, profit, but it turned out to be a loss. No options. Okay? You're stable and secure. Maybe they tried to um, tempt you, bribe you. And you're like, nah, I have integrity. Okay? They're trying to make it look like that you're part of this. No, you're not. Your hands are here. You're not even coming near the snake or that money. I know what that is. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. You're healthy. You're an inspiration. Okay. Um, be careful if they're coming in, offering you some money, drugs, food, drinks. Be careful. Okay. Male or female, you're stable and secure. You're independent. Okay. You're hardworking. You're um, abundant. See the mountains are behind her throne. It could be her or him. That means that your hardships are over, okay? You're good. You're good. Everything you turn touch to gold, uh, turns to gold. You could be out in the public eye. You're balanced in life. Your wish fulfillment are coming through, and they're trying to block you if you're out in the public eye. If not, they're trying to block your wish fulfillment or your divinity from other people from seeing you. I don't know. Take it for whatever it is. They can't move on. They don't want you moving on to your wish fulfillment. They're in trouble here. Somebody's been exposed, publicly humiliated. Some words getting around fast. Fast communication, fast action, and or travel. Yep, this was a scam or this is spell work, okay? Someone's a scam artist. It's a tower. 
if they're sending off some spell work, it is um, solstice, right? They're getting it back. This is a tower moment. Something's happening quickly. It's a scam artist. So be that. No, um, no, no sincerity. Okay. It's a pick me. Lied right to your face, smiling in your face, playing you right in your face. It's a tower. People are coming after this person because they, I think they compromised this people. It could be a couple that did this. They wanted your crown, your crown chakra. The divine's going, no, I'm bringing this down. It's built on a false foundation, giving off a false sense of security and false impressions. Yeah, they wanted to be an empress, a divine feminine or something like that. They were holding back, trying to impersonate you. Okay, could have forged your signature. This is a poser and a player. Like I said, they take credit for your work, ideas, and, and achievements. Okay, and they're trying to hold you back. Nah, nah, nah. Ain't gonna happen. Male or female, by the way, okay? Yeah, this is an empty victory. Everybody's coming after the, the person's responsible. This was out of jealousy, ego, pettiness, and cruelty, and they abused you a lot. Now these people are gonna be held liable as well, okay? Whether it's gonna be monetarily, whether it's gonna be jail time, whether it's gonna be embarrassment, losing their home, their family, you're gonna sue them. They're all fucking, some are running. The other ones are, are turning on the one that was responsible or the ones that are responsible, okay? They were just petty and cruel. Willing to do whatever it took to win. Okay. My sword's bigger than your sword, yeah. They gave out false information about you, and they're going down here. A lot of trauma. Damn. It's your family. Your family ain't shit. That's what I just heard. Or it's somebody from your past, okay? There's no going back to the past. There's no going back. They can't go back and undo this, whatever. People have lost their children, possibly. I mean, the, the most vulnerable in your household, children, elderly, it's lost, no matter how you look at it. Damn. Whatever they did, they did so much damage, there's no going back. So, you know, the Swan Queen, it's, it's over. It's transformation. They wanted you gone. Whatever this is, okay? Intuition, you used your intuition. You knew spirit or the divine told you, be patient. And you were. Congratulations. My situation, he told me, be patient. There's nothing you need to do. Just be you, heal, elevate. Work on your channel, work on you, work on your happiness. Well, uh, they work on that, right? The wise woman of Wonderland, integrity and compromise. 21, it's over. Ending a cycle to begin a new one. And it's going to be a cycle of growth, I just heard. So congratulations, it might be on the news. Mm, you might be world famous after this, okay? I don't know. But this is a bunny. That's luck. It's fruition. It's it's, it's very fruitful what's going to happen here. She looks like she's carrying a secret. And I know, yeah, last night, I was trying to read my cards. And I'm going, why can't you, why can't I get my answers? <laughs> I was asking a question. And they told me, it's a secret. It's a good secret. It's a surprise. Okay? So same shit, different day. They were doing this over and over and over again. They wanted you to live Groundhog Day, I heard, okay? You in a loop while they live high off the hog, off of what's yours, whether it's energy or money or whatever, okay? They, they, they laughed at your pain, a bunch of bozos. There's an offer coming through. They're going to have to make you an offer. Bet you dollars to donuts, though, because they want to get out of trouble. They want this, and they're going to have an NDA, non-disclosure agreement. They don't want to go to jail. They don't want this getting out in the press. Um, they're going to lowball you. Get a lawyer, okay? And get a uh, public relations um, company involved as well, or what do you call it? Okay? They're going to start getting nervous when you start involving these types of people in this situation. You know what I'm saying? Overwhelmed. The stress from this is draining me. Well, do the right thing then. Secrets. I haven't told you everything. Make sure they tell you everything. You know, it's kind of like when you do when people turn state's evidence or whatever they call it, you know, and they, they testify against, you know, crime. Um, if you lie, the deal's off the table. So make sure that, you know, they don't tell you the whole truth and you know what I'm saying, tell you who's involved, blah, blah, blah. The the deal's off the table. I can't tell you what to do. It's just suggestions, you know. They planned a robbery or they did rob you. Exploited you, okay? It was unfair. They thought you were blind to this. Now, they don't want people to see what they've done. Oh, this is awkward. They don't want people knowing. They try to affect your your intuition. 
They lost theirs. Take it for whatever it is. There's an investigation. Oh, yeah. Better bet you, Pippi. <laughs> These people are in trouble. Sorry, it's taking a long time. It feels like it's a long read. Anyways, it's only 55 right now. That means change. Expect the unexpected. Goddesses, how are we ending this reading? It looks like it's a good one. Seduction. They might have sent people over to seduct, uh, seduce you, put you in a compromising position, okay? Or maybe the judge was seduced or somebody in the equation was seduced. Guilt in reverse. You're not guilty. They could have said you tried to seduce them, Pathacelia and Anna. They don't want to admit their guilt. That's what it is. Hecate, you're protected. They want protection, though. You're not feeling guilty for them. If they're trying to guilt you, going, oh, I don't want to spend the rest of my days in jail. They're going to come and get me. You know, if they owe money. Don't let them guilt you. Okay? You're protected, by the way. They're trying to deceive you yet again. So, Medea. They deceived you because they were envious of you. Foam knock. They're trying to control this, but they can't. Damage control, it's not going to happen. If they try to control you, they can't. Curiosity killed the cat, right? Pandora's box. They opened this box and they unleashed a whole whack of chaos. Whether it was spell work, whether it's this defaming and taking away from you and, and this abuse. It's chaos in their world. But for all the chaos they, they may, maybe brought, put you through, and the abuse, and I'm not minimizing it, okay? You always had hope, which is the story of Pandora. Look it up. At the bottom of the box, the only thing left in the box was hope. And you knew. A lot of secrets. They want to keep this secret. Nematona. They know they can't coerce you, okay? I wish you could go. You're inspired. You're an inspiration. You're when They were doing some sort of magic. And, and, and you know, gossip is a form of magic, right? Defamation of character is a form of magic. If it's not straight up magic. You've endured a lot. There's. It looks like mourning, okay? So some lives have been lost or will be lost. And my condolences, it should never get to this, okay? Because it was all about somebody's obsession with themselves, with money, with sex, and the more money I have, the more ass I get. Get a life. They want to be famous. They want to be world, you know, widely known. You know what I mean? I hear porn. Ooh, they could have accused you, or maybe they doctored some photos or film. I'm hearing all kinds of things. Everybody's stories are different, but don't worry. Okay, you're getting your, uh, you're protected, and you're. They're getting their comeuppance, okay? So we have Inanna in reverse. Come on. Uh, careful, for you are about to be swept away. An offer seems too good to be true. Remember that everybody has free will. Don't be coerced into anything. Be strong and stand your ground. Be truthful, integral, consistent, and assertive. Use your captivating ways for the highest good. Now, I'm going to tell you one thing. Even if you're unsure... You know that God is backing you. You know the angels are backing you and your ancestors. Look at it that way, okay? Speak even if you're afraid, even if your voice shakes. I don't think it will. You have authority here. They don't. What they did was wrong, and they know it. You have the power. Don't let go of it. Guilt. Penthesilia. In reverse. Don't let a situation get out of hand. Own up to your part in it. So whoever's dealing in it, own up to it. Time to move beyond your comfort zone. Forgive someone for hurting you. You are not responsible for the actions of others. A guilty secret will be revealed. It's in keeping. Ask for advice about how best to tackle a tricky situation. So get a lawyer. Um, get a, a PR firm involved. Do what you need to do. Go to therapy. Ask those who know, okay? Don't be asking your circle. They don't know. You don't ask people who have no experience, okay? Hecate. And also, also, go with it. Ask your spirit team. Hecate. For, I mean, at the end of the day, go with what your heart's telling you, your, your, your intuition. Protection. Most of the time, you rejoice in people coming to you for help, advice, or just to be a shoulder to cry on. But when push comes to shove, who can you turn to? Obviously not these people, right? 
You can't protect all the world, nor can you decide the fate of others for long. It will push you to the breaking point. You have reached an important crossroads where taking on all the ills of others and responsibility for their actions is grinding you down. You're taking on their karma. Whoever this is. Uh, where are we? Hecate holds the keys to your future. Together you stand before the gates of great decision. It's time to lay down the woes of the world and the burdens of others and step forward alone. And just like Hecate, you will learn and accept that you can still help from a distance and you can still love from a distance. So, you know, if you choose, if you so choose, those who have relied on you so much before will need to live their own lives and take responsibility for their own choices. Okay. Deception Medea. Some disrespect, well, you can forgive it for yourself, but cannot be forgotten. The punishments, the punishments and or the, the remorse that they're going to show you, it's going to have to reflect the level of deception and disrespect and pain they caused you. Do you understand what I'm saying? If they're trying to give you a monetary, um, a check, it can't be 10 grand for trying to ruin your life, take your life and your character and, you know, make you lose everything. 10 grand doesn't cover it. How can you put a monetary label on that? How can you quantify that? Okay? I can't tell you what to do. I'm just trying to open your eyes, okay? Oh, what a tangle web we weave when we practice to deceive. Sir Walter Scott's words should sound a little chilling now. All may look calm and serene from where you're standing, but wait till the truth comes out, and it will. For then it will be too late for clever words, trickery, or playing the blame game. No one is immune to telling the odd fib or two. However, when a life is built on deception and fabrication, well, that's another thing entirely. You must be honest with yourself first and foremost, then look to unravel the, the web and face the music. Medea comes to you now as a warning. Her back turned to you to hide her grief, shame, and horror of what a life built on half-truths and smoke and mirrors has led to. Do you really want to run the risk of being left isolated, forever staring into the abyss at what might have been? So that's obviously for those involved, right? I'm sorry you've gone through that, but this is a time of reckoning. They must come to their senses. They must tell the truth. They must make things balanced. They must take bring back balance to a situation that was so unbalanced, okay? Unfair. Angels, how are we ending this read for the collective? Not at once. Wow. You overcame and persevered all right. They're burdened. They are very scared right now. 51, they got to balance this out. They're trying to block this. You can't block this anymore. God, the impenetrable secret. Universal medicine, elevation to the soul of, of the soul and the revelation of mysteries. The truths are coming out. We can no longer block it. New beginnings. They might come with a small offer. This is gathering some information here. Okay. It has something to do with divination too. This is ending something. Thirteen change. This could be a child that had to leave. Page of Pentacles. It's good financial news as well. Loyalty and allegiance, friendship and reconciliation. They have to reconcile this now. Whether you're going to be reconciled or not, I don't know. But they have to reconcile the situation, meaning bring back balance. Okay, Two of Cups. This is a soulmate. It could be a soulmate in a soul tie, 19 truth and clarity, illumination, healing. Okay, this is bringing back healing to a situation. The swift, swiftly hearkening God. They, they partnered up with others to harm you. This is soul ties. Wow. They got to, I don't know. The swiftly hearkening God, fruition, provides expansive, expansive intelligence and gives the grace of God. Damn. Somebody works in, in intelligence that got involved in this as well. They could have been hacking your electronics, got a hold of your medical files, any kind of, you know, they have far, they're far reaching. So somebody had access to this bullshit that they shouldn't have. There's a lot of institutions involved, not a once, and they did some too quickly. They have to take action. 24 decisions, right? You've ascended. You made the right choices. Wow. There's a decision being made. This is destined here. This will fortune right here. And they tried to hop on your the destiny swappers. Maybe that's how some people at high levels get there. 
get their money, jump on your bandwagon, so to speak. They're trying to stop this wheel from turning. They can't. Protection prevents discovery of secret crimes. That's what exactly what they're trying to do. Cloak it. Yeah, saves exiles. Please help me, save me, save me. They're going to offer you, a, I don't know, uh, some money. To, wow, it's over. They wanted this for you, or they caused a lot of this. This is change. Mumia, 72. That's a nine. An investigation. God, the end of the universe. Time is up. Again, going with the first, um, when we first started, if you only have so much time left, what do you plan to do with your the rest of your life? We can leave tomorrow. We can leave in, in 50 years, but... Do you want to live or do you want to just exist? And that's what they wanted to do. Exist where there's nothing fruitful, nothing growing. It's over, okay? God, the end of the universe. Endings and rebirth influences health and longevity. Five of Cups, they're grieving and regretting here, okay? It's also mental health as well that they try to affect your mental health, try to take you out. Maybe they have... I do know certain corporations and businesses um, take out life insurance on their workers, without their knowledge, without their permission. And they hedge bets against these people. Who's the first to go? And they try to fuck up their lives, to add stress to their lives, stress at work. You know what I'm saying? To, to, to win money. It's all bets. It's all for fun and games. And they make money off you. Buhalia, Five of Cups, 43. This is universally driven. This is victory. You're going to be able to leave this behind. They have no other recourse. Radical acceptance. This is going to come out in the open. They got to bring back balance. They have to take accountability. You overcame. This is victory. Prosperity. This is God, King, and Ruler. Nobody else is God. You understand what I'm saying? So if somebody, there's a man or a woman down here thinking they're God, King, and Ruler, they can dictate the, the way your, your life is going to go and they're going to make money off of it. Uh uh. Prosperity. Destruction of the enemy and deliverance from bondage. Congratulations. Pedro Wands, New Beginnings, Good News, okay? Let's get the um, angel numbers on this. Let's see, angel number eight. Angels, what number? How would you want to end this here? Zero, one, one, zero. Belief system. So it has something to do with belief systems, okay? Go after what you want. Unique destiny, inspiration, talents, gifts, appreciation, and gratitude. You're blessed with talents and skills that make it easy for you to stand out from the crowd. Embrace what makes you different. That's your path to success. Your dreams will soon come true. Be who you're always meant to be. You are authentic. We are supposed to be. Now, you have spiritual gifts here. You're meant to be here. You're meant to bring this out in the open. Congratulations. And the angels are helping you. 444. Protection. Change, I got goosebumps, rebellion, guidance, justice, truth, character, love. Get ready for the good things you've been hoping for. You were born for a higher calling and they were trying to keep you small. Somebody knew your outcomes. Keep your birth date and your, where you were born, the time you were born, to yourself. People get that info. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 they get paid for this info. If you go to readers, um, astro you know what I mean? Ast astrologers, some of these people sell this info to the, the higher ups, you know, the movers and the shakers, so they can stop you. I mean, this is really evil, I know. I mean, it sounds like a conspiracy uh, theory, but look at today. A lot of the conspiracy theories are true. So get ready for the good things you're, you've been hoping for. You were born for a higher calling. Put your energy into going toward your ambitions and the universe will align itself to provide you with the right people, circumstances, and resources to make things happen. Congratulations. I hope you like the read. And until next time, take care.